Hello, <clears throat> welcome to Lori's DIY Life. I thought that what I might do is to get this Spellbinders All Aboard Christmas Kit. Um, it's from, I believe, last year's. And um, there's a lot of die cuts in here and paper pad and paper. And, you know, Spellbinders has one of the more... Um, one of the things I always said about Spellbinders is their kit, you could take it, open it, and use it. It comes with the two, you know, double-sided tape, the dimensional adhesive, um, everything but scissors, really. So, you know, if, and yes, there's dye, so you would have to have a die cutting machine if you wanted to use those. But they always got a bunch of die cuts in. And I'm just going to show... So this is the Christmas kit, and it's um, a big kit, and most of their kits are not this big. I don't want you to think that it is, um, but you still pretty much, you're going to get paper, okay? You're going to get die cuts, you, you might get some sequins, um, you'll get a die, some dies, usually they're pretty small. The adhesive, card blanks, and envelopes. Um, you'll get the inspiration sheet, you know, where you can look at stuff that they made. Um, a little book of paper. This is the double-sided adhesive. The foam tape. Um, this is something you don't normally see. You don't normally see like this, but... Um, and then all these die cuts, you know, there's just, you get plenty and you'll get some stickers, you know, and stamps and these jewels and you usually get some of these. So it's a pretty good kit. Um, when I first started checking out all the kits, I wondered what's the most useful kit right off the bat just to get it and open it and use it and for me personally spellbinders was the one that you could do that if you like using die cuts if you want to do your own then not so much right i mean still yes because the dies are in here so you can but not so much, I mean, yeah, it's still going to be one of your best bets, no matter what, with, as far as to open it and use it, and not have to go hunt for a bunch of stuff. I'm just wondering, because I haven't done one in a long time, I was going to use the dies, but then I thought, I'm looking at all of this, and I haven't done, like, one of the collage ones in forever from these dies. I haven't done a Spellbinders one in a long, long time. So maybe I'll use some of their florals and whatever else is in here and do that. And then maybe I'll come back for tomorrow and make a one with the dies. So we'll see. Let me um, get a card blank. And um, usually four by six. So let me check. Four and a quarter by five and a half. So not four by six. Four and a quarter by five and a half. And so of course... It comes with all these papers, so what I want to do first is find what did I do with that paper pad because I first, oh, keep bumping the, I first want to find a pattern that I want to use like that, but if I do the flower then I could, ooh, that's pretty. The tree, 
the houses know that. Uh, 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 uh. I think I'm going to use the words. In the words, bright, joy, celebrate together, lights, peace, family, love, gather, bright, celebrate, greetings, peace, bells, love, season, greetings, bells. So it's just words in white on the gray background. And I want to cut this to fit my card which I said was four and a quarter by four and a quarter by five and a half. So I want that oh paper cutter, where did I put it? I can't even find it. Here it is. Four and a quarter by five and a half. turning it the wrong way. Okay, four and a quarter, and I'm gonna go just under that. About five and a half. And you know, I'm gonna go just under that. And let's see, how is this going to fit? Oh my goodness, it's crooked. Really bad. Oh, really bad crooked right there. Let me see, what did I do? it up bad. Let's see. Well, I'm going to have to cut some off this side here just to make it look right. You know, just to make it look closer to the same. I still got to cut more off. Just a little bit because I don't want to cut too much off. I always think it's going to cut somewhere it's not cutting. Okay, that works. Barely. Look, it's still crooked here. <sighs> what am I doing? And now I'm going to have to cut some more off of this side. I hope it's going to end up fitting by the time I'm done doing all this. Always check the direction of your card. Okay. All right, so that's gonna work. Oh, I did a no-no. I did the last video, made the card, came back, had not covered my glue. So let's hope that I haven't completely destroyed it. I did poke the through the needle through the spout thing here, and it went through. So I was like, okay, I should be all right. And it looks like I am. Okay. Uh, 
All right. Now I need to some of these die cuts out of this box so I can see what all I'm gonna make. There's a leaf. Let's see here. Here's like the poinsettia. This is the one I would rather do myself. See, and then this goes in there. And you know what? I already made a flower today. Here I am making another one. All right, this is the one I'm gonna do the poinsettia. Or is it poinsettia or poinsettia? I don't know, but. Where is my, I cannot, there it is. I just wanna, just a little bit. I don't wanna do a lot to the, I mean this paper is just taking it like a champ. Just like that other paper just took it right. Like it was nothing in that last video, just I didn't want to give this one too much body. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, we have the three layers. And we need to stick some break some things in here. I don't know what all. I don't know about that one. No, I don't want that one in there. That's not a good one. I don't know. Uh, I know this is not a poinsettia leaf, but that's not either, right? It's like for holy, let me see. What we have here is take that paper out. put some green on here but see how it's got them little pieces from where it was cut I kind of like the way that looks on there and I think I'm gonna leave that and I think I'm gonna do the green thing and a gold one I think will but still look good like that, these can fan out, this can go up, and then uh, we need like the most wonderful time of the year, better than that one. Oh, so blessed, I love that. Oh, so blessed. Hmm. Oh, so blessed. Let's see, I think it's just a little too big. Is my only problem with that. Blessings from our house to yours. I think that'll look good. And I don't really want to put that on here yet until I'm sure of the placement. But I'm thinking I'm 
no, that's too light. So then it won't work. Celebrating happiness. I don't know. Here we go. Merry Christmas. And oh, I thought the deer were smaller. That's big. Um, I thought we had some little bitty deer in here. Not this one. Uh, I like it, but I don't want to hide. So I would have to move the flower to about there. I suppose I could do that. Okay. Let me take this out of here. I think I like this like this. Oops. Okay, so this will go here, so these are going to be here, so I'm just going to gonna leave those where they are, and Okay, I think I'll stick a little, ooh, my hands are shaking, a little bit on the tips, just to hold it down, steady, there we go, now I'm gonna glue these together, so I will have that one. flower. I don't want the little wispies on it. <laughs> right, the little cut off pieces. It works on the branches. Doesn't so much work on the flowers. I am making flowers today. And this and that. So next, I'll put this, I'm going to bring this all the way over this way as far as I think I can get away with it being over here, right about there, is where I think I can have it. Okay, I'll put that down. And now I want to put the flower down. And on this, I'm not going to put nothing in the center. There's a gold thing. A gold thing. And okay, I'm going to bring the Merry Christmas about like that. As much as I can if I need to cut off some of the tip of it I will okay Merry Christmas and I just want the very very tips to just sit on there you don't want to make it look like that's a purpose of course but can use and then the deer and I'm gonna put him I was thinking all the way down but maybe not.
Maybe he just needs to be like that. You can still tell it's a deer. I don't know. Maybe that deer's not the right thing to have there now. It might be too late to change it. I think it is too late to change it. Ooh, big old buck. Yep. I mean, I could put the little hedgehog there or something, but, um, I think he's gonna go under. But I'm gonna bring him all the way over as far as I can. As far as I can. So that I'm not losing too much of him. And is down as much as I can. And maybe I can stick this one here over in that one under. Let's see. Oh, but it doesn't look like I've been so purposeful. Sometimes these smaller card blanks are really, really nice because you fill your card up nice, right? But then you have this problem of getting everything on that you want. So I said this one under, right? And no, this one under and that one over. So I do it like that. Okay. There we go, and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on that tip. Hold it down. Hold it down. And there we go. Didn't really do a collage. I did a flower. But it's alright. It looks good. I like it. I hope you all like it too. And so, that's the end of this video. Turned out pretty good. Didn't have to stamp or die cut or nothing. Just took it out. I cut this. And the rest just glued down. And that's, I mean, this is what it's like with all there. Even if you don't have glue, you end up with the double-sided tape. So, it's good. I like their kits. I like to do things myself and and make my own thing and do the die. And and that's probably what the next video will do. Be I will probably get the die, the train die, right here, and do a train. They did theirs white. I don't know if I would do white. But thanks for joining me. If you like my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.